Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. This video is going to be a quick little PowerShell tip about creating some progress bars and I'll show you a couple of methods of doing that. Before I dive in, I want to thank returning subscribers for watching another video, as well as want to invite everyone, if you enjoy the video, make sure you click like, feel free to leave a comment and share with others. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure that you click that subscribe button and ring the bell when you do, so you can be notified of when new content comes available. All right, so when I was originally going to make this video, I was going to show a little quick and dirty way of having a way in your scripts, especially like a one-off script to be able to show a little, not necessarily status bar, but a way to kind of keep track of where your script is. And then I thought, hmm, maybe there's a better way to actually do this. And in fact, as almost always when I'm doing scripts, I do find a better way of being able to do some things. So we're going to share, or rather I'm going to share that with you now. So I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. And we're going to take a look at a little script that I've made that will do some stuff against Active Directory user objects. So I have my little test.ps1 here. And prior to the video, I made like 100 test accounts. And all this is going to do is um, add some text to the description of each account. But the point of this is you will probably find times where you've made either a one-off script or, or, or something that's planned that takes forever to run. And you want to know, like, where the where you are in whatever loop you're doing in your script. Now for this script, I've added a little start sleep to kind of simulate this taking out a little bit of time, but I want to show you what I used to do first and then show you the improved way for your own scripts. So I'm going to do this a line at a time here and then we'll put it into actual practice. So I'm going to launch the get credential line. Let me add in my domain admin credential. We're going to gather all of the test users in my domain. It shouldn't take too long. Nope, they're all there. And for all test users, this variable is going to have a method on it called count. It'll tell me how many, oh wait, all test user count zero. Well, yeah, that makes sense because the name of the variable is all test users. And so that count tells us we have a hundred um, objects in this particular variable. So what I used to do was I would make a variable called total and I would set total to be whatever the variable that's holding all of the objects that I'm going to manipulate dot count, which will give us the count, the total number of objects. Then I would make a variable called count and just set that equal to one. And I'd have my little for each loop doing whatever it is that, you know, for I in all test users. One of the first things that I will do in this loop is do write verbose, and there will be a message that is showing count of total, and I would usually set this to dash verbose to make sure that I would definitely see the actual verbose output. Now, if you want, you can use write host for this as well, but I try to be in the habit of doing write verbose for things like this. And then the script will do whatever it is it needs to do. And for this, I'm just um, adding some text to the description of these users, and I'm adding two extra seconds of sleep to kind of simulate this for the video. And then at the end of the loop, I would increment the count variable by one. And so what would happen here, let's say that this takes, you know, forever to do, and it's like 30 seconds per iteration of the loop, and you, you know, go away from your computer and you come back, and you want to see where it is. The end effect of this, if I were to, run just this part of the script. Uh, Service rejected client credentials. Well, that's no good. Let me stop this here. We'll use control C to do that. But you get the idea here of it is showing working one of 100, working two of 100 all the way up, and I stopped at around five of 100. And so what this can do for you is in your script, you'll have a bunch of um, you know, lines in your terminal showing verbose working five of whatever, but it's a, a quick and easy way to keep track of that. So I'm thinking, all right, maybe there's a way to kind of make this a little bit more elegant. I mean, this, there's nothing wrong with this. It works. I mean, it basically we're incrementing a counter and we're just doing a little message of that. And I found the right progress command line. Actually, I found a blog post from, um, I think his name is Ed Wilson. He does a lot of uh, scripting blogs for Microsoft. I think he's known as the, the scripting guy. I don't think Ed Wilson is his name. 
if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments there. And he talked about the right progress commandlet, and I have found it to be pretty awesome just with some of my little tests here. And one nice thing about doing the right progress commandlet for doing little progress bars is you're not going to fill up your terminal screen, such as, you know, you won't have, say I had 200 users here and I'm doing this, I won't have a whole screen worth of working five of 200 all the way, you know, through the count. So the way that right progress uh, ver commandlet works, let me comment this out here. It's actually rather simple. So for right progress, what you're going to see is activity is going to give you the title of this progress bar. Status is going to give you like a little message to show, and then you can use percent complete to do a little bit of math to show the little O's that go across a um, PowerShell screen when it's doing a little progress, such as if you were to install uh, Windows features on a Windows server and it'll you know, give you a little progress bar, that's what this makes. And you can also do uh, time left, I think, as well as percent complete. The percent complete, though, this is where my little count and total variables come into play, whereas the percentage complete is going to be whatever count I'm on divided by the total number of things in my loop, which in this case I'm using that all test users dot count and multiply that by 100. So let's put it to the test one more time. Actually, I'll just go through the entire thing here and hopefully I won't fat finger my credentials and this will actually work. So Eddie dash admin, my super secret password, hopefully it's right this time. And now we see this little progress bar here. And notice the fixing users, that's what was given to us by activity. The status working whatever count of total, that's our status line there. And the little line of O's that go across would be indicative of whatever our percentage complete is. So we're at you know 10 of 100. I'm going to guess that's gonna be 10 links worth of those O's. I'm not 100% sure for that actually was a bit impatient for doing this and didn't test the script all the way through. But the nice thing about this is it's not adding lines to your um, terminal console. So that way you're not um, seeing, you know, you're not just filling your screen up with said lines. So I hope you found this useful. It's a quick little trick. And again, it started with me just doing like write verbose and showing, you know, count of total with, with a message, but then I found the commandlet here for you know, actually showing you the, the progress, and I thought it was pretty nifty, so I figured I would share it with everyone. As always, if you enjoyed the content of the video, make sure that you click like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Ring the bell when you do subscribe so you can be notified of when new content comes available. Feel free to share this with others if you feel it would be useful for them, and also feel free to leave comments either you know, critique or praise or questions, I'll try to um, respond to them as I do have ability and time to do so. Thanks again for taking the time to watch and I'll see you the next time.